Hello, I'm Rob Hirschfeld, CEO and co-founder of RackN, and we just completed the 2030.cloud summit, where we spent four hours discussing critical topics about the future of infrastructure, uh, ranging from security to data, SASification, digital life, um, and social and, and access, government control of technology and the balance of capitalism um, and free markets in, in these technologies. It's a huge, incredibly diverse set of topics, and we only scratched the surface. Um, in, it included a, a list of uh, participants getting to soapbox in the last part of this discussion uh, about things that they thought we didn't talk about, should have talked about, deserve more attention, and we will be having additional follow-on conversations. My big takeaway from these sessions is that we have an incredibly interconnected set of technology, soci society, government, um, and corporate components in how these work, including how we buy the technologies, how we innovate on the technologies, the pace of that innovation, how much tolerance we have for how fast things are changing and, and interconnected, the complexity of what we're building together. Uh, and they have profound implications on day-to-day -day life as we get more and more connected and more and more reliant on how these technologies work uh, for us and work really hard to make them efficient and cost-effective. It's clear that there are really big challenges in front of us in how these go, and that if we just leave it to be, uh, people, companies with a lot of money and resources are going to continue to pull together silos of technical capabilities, technical talents. We've, that very clearly has benefits to us because it makes it easier to build things and it makes it faster to innovate. Uh, it also increases our reliance on individual companies or individual technology stacks. And the group was pretty decisive in saying that is not how things are built. Uh, that individual tech, individual companies, individual technology stacks uh, don't reflect what we've seen over the long term, and what, we weren't that confident that it would be what we see in the future. So looking back on four hours of discussions about this, uh, I'm left in some ways with more questions, which is what I was expecting, and also a thought that uh, as we build these technologies together, we need to do it deliberately that the choices that we make need to be informed by what we've experienced in the past and what we want to uh, do in the future, how we want things to be shaped. And that came out to me over and over again, the caveat emptor, you know, buyer beware. As you're building these technologies together, sometimes that easy road is not the safe road, is not what's going to preserve for you the way things go. And in some cases, fighting it is also the wrong choice. So there's a lot to consider for people building, buying, and as we all are, becoming increasingly dependent on technology. Please join us. The2030.cloud is where these discussions are happening on an ongoing basis, and I'm looking forward to including you in the discussion. Thanks.